Hey guys, Wayne sitting here at secondadam.tv, your online church, your place for prophetic counseling. I want to talk to you. The book of Revelation, I want to talk to you today out of the book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation, it says, I would have you hot or cold. For lukewarm, I will spew, I will vomit out of my mouth. What a graphic explanation from God. He says, if you're hot or you're cold, that's how I will have you. But if you're lukewarm, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Here at, Wayne, here at the Absolute Coaching Center, what we believe in, we believe in absolute coaching. That means absolutely yes or absolutely no. Anything in between is lukewarm. And if it's something that God wants to vomit out, so do we. Come on, we're just not going to deal with it. And so how is that in your life? The question is, are you taking your shoulds and turning them into a must? Are you taking your shoulds and turning it into a must? See, I should exercise. If you should exercise, but you're not, then you're lukewarm. You're not cold. You're not saying I shouldn't exercise. You're not hot. You're not at the gym four hours a day, but you're in that middle ground. I should. Inactivity, double-mindedness. If you're not willing to make it an absolute, then say no. It's a no. It's an absolute no for this point in my life. There may be a season in your life when you're building a business. There may be a season when you're restoring a relationship and actually going to the gym, exercising for this season may not even fit. Now, some of you may disagree, but I know sometimes you're going to get out of balance to get in balance. So here's the key. Are you willing to take your shoulds and make them a must? I should spend time with God. Are you willing to make that a must? I should spend time with my family. Are you willing to make that a must? I should go back to school. I should build a business. I should study more. What is that should you keep saying over and over and over? When you look at New Year's resolution, what is the should that needs to be a must? And not everything is going to be a must. There are things in my life I should do. Guess what? They're not in my season. They're not in my time. and not in my plan and purpose. So right now, I don't say no longer are they a should. They're in the cold category. They're not a hot category. I'm not on fire for it. What am I on fire for? Right now, these video blogs. I'm on fire for our prophetic counseling and coaching and leading people. Our online church. There's some other things that are that were in the should category. Now we're in the cold category. But later, I'll move into the hot. I'll move into the must category. Because when you say, I must do this. I must do this. Let me tell you what you must do. You must eat. You must breathe. Amen. So when you must do something and you move it over to that category, if I'm breathing, I'm doing this. When you get that dedicated, that focused, and when I'm breathing, I'm doing this. When I'm breathing, I'm building this business. When I'm breathing, I'm building the online church. When I'm br breathing, I'm, I'm taking time to spend time with God, spend time with my family, whatever it is within you. Can you take a should? Listen, don't try to do 20 at one time. Take it one day at a time. Take one goal at a time. What is one thing? Here's the question. What is one thing you've said I should do that you can turn over into a must? If you'll focus on that, you'll see your life change. Here's something you must do. Go to the secondadam.tv. Name, email address, get on our mailing list. We have several free books I want to give you on hearing the voice of God. We want to give you several books on how to achieve your goals and dreams and purpose. We want to help you move into the destiny, the God-given destiny that is for you. Go to the second item, sign up. Be sure to like this video, share this video. If you're looking at this on YouTube, click the subscribe button. God bless.